Hey, you look familiar. Who are you? Hi, I'm Jack of all trades. Just call me Jack. And you are? I, I'm... I, mm, who am I? I I'm... Oh, right. I'm the master of one. I just got my master's degree in specialising of specialist. And presenting to you the age-old dilemma. To be a specialist or a generalist. Look, being a specialist is great. I just dedicated many years of my life into mastering one thing. And I have a nice certificate to show for it. And companies are all vying to pay top dollar for my specialised skills. Why? Because true experts are much harder to find. Simple supply and demand, Jack. Yeah, sure. I'm not going to argue with that. But you might want to consider the pros of being a generalist too. First, generalists are hireable across multiple industries. Hmm. Your specialised skills pay well, but it also makes you vulnerable to rapid industry changes. Like so. Second, being knowledgeable in various fields means that generalists are better at making connections across disciplines and philosophies. Huh? Any examples to back up your little claim? Sure. A German airplane manufacturer conducting tests on hypersonic flights noticed that raindrops would erode the plane externally and internally through shock waves. Further studies led the company to eventually be able to use shock waves to break kidney stones without invasive surgery. So, an observation in seaplanes goes on to change the course of urology, both vastly different fields. But come on, a specialist was probably the one who created the machine or technology to make that a reality. True again, but... If you don't expand your field of knowledge as a specialist, you'll forever be the one doing the task. But... Imagine if you had picked up additional soft skills, such as management or leadership skills, and led a team. You'll essentially multiply your expertise and contribute at a much higher scale. You'd probably be paid more too. Hmm, but how can you be effective if you touch and go on a thousand topics? As a generalist, you have to know just enough for it to count. Okay, so what then is just enough? Aha! Ah, that's why I brought this. Often, reading the quintessential book on a subject will teach you just enough. That seems too specific, no? Why not just go to Wikipedia or read articles online? Be efficient with your time, you want to consume the good stuff. When you pick up a book, Chances are, it's been through many rounds of revisions to make it a lean, mean machine of pure, efficient information. See? <sighs> so I've wasted all these years studying one thing just to get this useless piece of paper. No, don't! <laughs> Honestly, I'm a bit jealous of you. Imagine being a specialist that learns to become a generalist. You'll be future-proof, versatile, oh. diversified, oh. connected, <laughs> and... Still a master! <laughs> oh. A jack of all traits and, and a master, master of one. one! Look at their power! It's over 9,000! Stay, Stay woke, salary man! Hey, wait a minute. So, are we fused together now? Yep. Can, can we reverse this? Cannot. Seriously? Yeah, cannot. No! Uh, uh.